Congress is stepping up its response to Russian aggression as humanitarian aid for Ukraine stalls on Capitol Hill. Several bills are now being drafted in the House and Senate to ban Russian energy imports and even suspend normal trade relations with both Russia and Belarus. Joe Khalil has more on all of these developments from Capitol Hill for us. Joe. Hey, good morning, Ruta Bay. This is a shift. Uh, the White House signaled over the weekend that they were not going to move forward with a full ban on Russian oil or gas unless our European partners were also in lockstep with us and we were doing it together. But it seems like pressure from Republicans and the president's own party here in Congress, and there's widespread support for it here, uh, to ban Russian energy may be shifting the position, and Congress says they're ready to move on this today. From both sides of the aisle. No more Russian energy should come into the United States. From all corners of the country. Energy has become a weapon of war for Putin. Calls to ban all Russian oil and gas coming into the U.S. grow louder. Ban it. And it will come from Russia. In a letter to her House colleagues Sunday night, Speaker Nancy Pelosi said House Democrats will pursue that policy, saying, quote, the House is currently exploring strong legislation that will further isolate Russia from the global economy. Our bill would ban the import of Russian oil and energy products. And in the Senate, at least three different bills, all slightly different, all aim to ban Russian energy. One way we can help the people of Ukraine more is to tighten the news on the Putin economy. It appears the only American entity not on board, the one with the power to make it happen, the White House. No decision has been made at this point uh, by the president. Press Secretary Jen Psaki echoed Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who suggested the U.S. won't ban Russian energy unless our European allies do the same. Those discussions are ongoing internally and also with our counterparts uh, and uh, partners uh, in Europe. The White House made clear while a small percentage of American energy comes from Russia, it accounts for more than a third of European energy. A ban could sting Russia's economy, but it could also trigger a recession in Europe's. Now, we've seen multiple versions of this ban moving forward. The most viable one is one that started in the House. It's got the backing of the Senate Finance Committee. But look, there is still a serious concern that a ban on Russian oil and gas may be felt in Americans' pocketbooks. And that popular opinion on this may shift if and once that happens. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.